my advocate stated that supposedly you raised the twenty you raised the beginning to twenty one and supposedly say lives. Well, in an article of should the US lower the drinking age side effect August side effects may vary August thirteenth, two thousand seven. It states the question, did raising the drinking age save 20,000 lives? National Youth Rights Advocates um, Association answered no. This is the most misguided and overused statistic circulated by the youth prohibitionist movement. The truth is, as researchers Peter Atex and David Levy put it, the minimum legal drinking age is not as significant or even a perceptible factor in the in the specificity experience of all drivers and and in death and unrefuted study Axon Levy proved that raising the drinking age merely transferred the lost lives from the 18 to 20 to the 21 and 24 age group the problem with the 20,000 lives state statistics is that it looks only at the best for the people in 18, age 18 and 20. But with my negative side is that it does not look at the 21, 24, which is also where you have the DUIs and traffic. Um, they also say brain damage. So basically what my advocates were saying is they rather you either get shot in the head at war or make sure that your brain is fully developed. And also, as my affirmative side stated, that cultures do show, they, they do bring their young into like alcoholism. Like, well, not, well, they expose them to alcohol at a slow manner, like social gatherings and stuff. And I also, for my culture, like as Mexico as it is, our drinking age is 18. And I'm not gonna sit here and lie that I wait till I'm 21. Like, for real, like, I could probably not drink most of you guys. And for my reason, I am not an alcoholic. My brain is perfectly fine. I'm here as much as you guys are, and I'm passing my classes. So I do not see how brain damage can be done to this. And because, and when my, when my negative side say that it's already, that if we were to lower the age drinking, um, it will be representing high schools. Well, as anyone can recall, at any high school party, there was always alcohol present. And most of the time, if, the situation would get out of hand. Most students would not think about calling the police or the forming the authority because they would be afraid to turn to, turn to them. And as um, they state that Europe, European teens show alcoholism and show signs of negative <coughs> and such. Well, how is it that they score better test scores than us? And they also say. And as research that I did up against European teens, although the United States increased MLDA to, eight, to 21, its rate of traffic faculties had in the 1980s decreased less than the European countries whose legal drinking age are under 21, proving that established the MLDA at 21 is not necessary and effective way to reduce traffic violations. An essential for control and Center for Disease Control and Prevention. In 2005, there were more than 150, 145,000 emergency rooms visited by youth for injuries and other conditions linked to alcohol. 18-year-olds convinced, convinced, uh, confessed of drinking alcohol 72% in the past month. And this research comes from the Department of Health and Human Resources. The data was collected in August 6, 2008. Um.